Hi, my name is Paul Coleman. I'm here from Codemasters over in the UK, Chief Game Designer, and I'm here to talk about Formula One 2014 with Inside Xbox. O Inside Xbox que continua aqui na BGS 2014 dentro do stand da Microsoft está bombando a feira, lotada de gente. Bom, eu estou aqui no meu estúdio tranquilão, entendeu? Ar condicionado, na boa. Falando de jogos que eu gosto muito, que são jogos de corrida, eu vou falar de Fórmula 1 agora com o Paul Coleman, que é da Code Masters. Paul, uh, talk about the, the changes you made in the game from the last game to this one. Okay, so uh, this year there's been a lot of rule changes in Formula 1. We've seen completely new engines, turbos, energy recovery systems. There's also been rules that have uh, reduced the amount of downforce that the cars have got. So the first thing we did was set about changing the way the cars behaved to ensure that the players get to feel these new exciting cars and the, and the way that they drive. Um, so now when, when you apply the throttle out of a slow corner, you have to be quite careful because the turbo gives a lot of power very quickly. And uh, with a reduced downforce, corners that you took last year, you could go flat out through. Now you have to be really careful because the car's moving around underneath you. Um, so the cars are harder to drive now. However, because we know the cars are harder to drive, we wanted to really uh, approach the accessibility of the game and make sure that young players who are fans of Formula One can get to grips with the car. So we've laid in a new, very easy mode now, which gives you a lot more assist than we've ever given players before. And that makes a huge difference in, in the experience when you first enter into a Formula One game for the first time. Like if you played a racing game before, and, and you haven't played Formula One, Formula One can still be challenging, but we've tried to address that with the, with the very easy mode. Perfect, so, so. This, is, this is gonna work uh, for the hardcore and the casual? Yeah, so, so the hardcore guys that, that love playing our game for the last you know, four years, they'll still have that experience there. In fact, the cars will be harder to drive for them because of the new challenging rules that they've brought in. Um, but you know, we know that there's only 22 guys in the world that can drive these cars for real, and uh, they're, they're very good at their job but there's millions and millions of fans out there, especially here in Brazil, who love Formula One. So we want to give them that, that entry point into the series. And so, you know, I, I've even had my mother try the game and she's been a big fan of Formula One all, all my life. We've watched races together, but she's never been able to play a game that I've worked on. And now she can. And that, that was so nice to just be yeah, able to that's sit good. in front of me and go, this is what I made. So yeah, it's been really cool. That's good. And if there any uh, new feature that was included based on the user's feedback? Yeah, so, so one of the key things that we've, we've looked at from user feedback was people just didn't have enough time to play the career that we used to give them. So before, when you'd arrive in the Formula One game, you'd get given a, a contract for one of the lower order teams like Lotus or Marussia. Then you'd work through a season, get a contract for a middle order team like uh, a Force India or a Toro Rosso, and then you'd move into, into the top teams by the third season. You know, players just didn't have time to play 19 races for three seasons. It, it was too much to ask of people. So this year we've said, you know what? You guys can just drive for Mercedes right from the start. If you want to do that, you can. And if, if a full season's too much for you, you can even do like a reduced season and only do seven races. So we're really sort of trying to adjust to people's needs and make sure that, you know, when you buy the game, you can find an experience it's, it's that's right for you. more accessible, so. Yeah. Great. And about multiplayer. How many players can compete online? Yeah, so we've got 16 players who can compete online, and then we fill the rest of the Grand Prix grid up with, with AI drivers. Um, so you can get at least 16 other human beings in the session, um, and we've got a quick race mode, so if you just want to go, go race quickly without worrying about settings, you go straight in, uh, we'll set up the game for you, and, and you basically race against other people. We've also got a custom mode, so if you and I want to do a 100% race around mm. Brazil, uh, and we want all of the rules and all of the difficulty and all of the damage turned on, we can do that. But perhaps my favorite mode, and it's something we've had before, but it's a, it's a season of co-op play with a friend. So you race against AI drivers, but you both race for the same team. Mm -hmm. So you go for the Constructors' Championship together, but then you're fighting to see who can get the Drivers' Championship between you. So there's, there's cooperative play and counter-cooperative play. As you, as you go through this. So, you, you know, friends of mine, I've, I've done full race distances. It takes like three months to work uh -huh. through a season. But, you know, as a, as a true Formula One fan, I think it's the, the, the probably the, the most extreme end of the spectrum. But we felt it was really necessary to put that in there so that players who really want to play this game for a long time can get that sort of experience. Wow. And is it possible to play with a friend in split screen? Yes. We, yeah, we've got split screen in the game. Bom, para vocês perceberem, o Fórmula 1, eles fizeram umas mudanças muito legais, porque assim, eles vão atender tanto o cara que 
é extremamente hardcore, que quer mudar até a berimboca da parafuseta, até o cara que não sabe jogar, mas quer se divertir porque curte a categoria. Então, assim, você pode colocar no modo extremamente casual e se divertir do mesmo jeito. Isso é muito legal, então, assim, pra quem curte Fórmula 1, pode ficar ligeiro. Inside Xbox continua aqui da BGS 2014.